Hello friends, it's Christy Marcotte. Today I'm sharing the cards I made using Honeybee Stamps Summer Stems 6x6 Paper Pod. This is a beautiful collection with lovely florals and summer colors. I'll also be using an assortment of Honeybee Stamps stamps and also their Honeycut sets. Lots of fun new products from their Summer Stems release. And I do have links provided in the description box for all of the products used in this video. For my first card design, I'm using a card sketch from MFT. This is number 416. I love this sketch, but I don't think I've used it for quite a while, so it was time to pull it out again. I have this bright orange paper with, looks like little moons in the background, layered it on some darker orange cardstock. I also have this beautiful watercolor looking floral design. So I really wanted to feature that on a card. For that thin strip under the floral paper, I used some of the orange gingham. I also added a gold Love From Lizzie peel off just to add a little bit of shine. I'm using one of the sentiment cut aparts that's included in the paper pad. One of the sheets is full of different sentiments. So it's perfect, you don't really need any stamps, but of course I will be using stamps in this video. Put some adhesive on the back and adhered it to the lower right hand corner. Then to finish off the card, I'm adding a small banner in the upper left hand corner. For several cards in this video, I kept them fairly simple and nice and flat, since I will be donating them to a local charity. And since they mail the cards off, I don't want them to have to pay anything extra in postage. And there is my first card. I did make two using this design. For card design number two, I still have a little bit left of this beautiful floral paper, so I decided to use it on a second card. I used the scallop rectangle die from Honeybee Stamps. I'm gonna add it to one of the tone on tone pattern papers. I put some ATG tape on the back and also some liquid adhesive along the very edge just to make sure that it lays nice and flat. I'll also add a strip of this peach and white stripe paper. I'm layering it on some white shimmer cardstock. Add a little bit extra so I needed to trim that off. I'm using some of the rose gold pinstripe peel offs from Love From Lizzie, just putting one along the edge of that stripe paper. I do have them cut a little bit longer than this piece, but I'll just wrap those ends around back. That way they won't fall off later. Put some ATG tape on the back of this panel and layer it on this dark reddish orange cardstock. I'll put my card front onto a card base. And for this card, I am leaving an eighth of an inch of that white card base showing. For the back of this panel, I used ATG tape and also a little bit of liquid adhesive. Since that back side of the cardstock was the textured side, I just wanna make sure it's going to stay in place. Before adhering this stripe piece, I'm adding some scrap pieces of cardstock to the outside edge where it goes off of that scallop paper. So just a small little piece. Then I'll put liquid adhesive on the back and adhere it to the lower portion of the card. I didn't want to cover up that large flower on the pattern paper since it's so pretty. For the sentiment on the card, I'm using a set from Honeybee Stamps. This is their My Favorite Flower. I have the stamp and the coordinating Honeycut set. The sentiment is, in the garden of life, friends are the flowers. I thought that was really pretty. And I stamped that out using some Catherine Pooler ink. To finish off the card, I'm adding a small banner die cut in the upper right hand corner. And this is a retired set from MFT. So there is my finished card. Even being so simple, I think it turned out very pretty. Now moving on to card design number three. This is a card sketch from I Heart Sketches. It's number 92. If you are interested in any of the sketches I show in this video, I do share all of that information on my coordinating blog post. That link is provided in the description box below, or you can simply head over to christymarcotte.com. Whenever possible, I do try to link directly to the original sketch site, but unfortunately the I Heart Sketches site is no longer available. For this card, I'm combining several different pattern papers. I have another beautiful floral pattern, then I have this tone on tone pattern in this purplish pink color. It has some leaves in the background. 
And then I have just a small piece of this polka dot paper that I put a little diagonal piece at the very top of that floral paper, following this sketch fairly closely. Layering everything on some black cardstock. I really like all the colors in this card, it's so pretty. For the banner in the upper right hand corner, I'm using that same pinkish cardstock, just cut a fishtail on the bottom. Put some liquid adhesive on the back, and I decided to adhere it slightly above that floral panel. For the sentiment, I'm using Honeybee Stamps B Young Blooms stamp set. I have the stamp and the coordinating dies. This stamp and coordinating die set was a free gift when I made a purchase over $100 from their recent Summer Stems release. I don't believe it's available for purchase right now, but I believe they will release it later. So there is my finished card. I did make two, and I also added a few of the coordinating gem stickers. Now moving on to card design number four. Since I still have some of that beautiful floral paper from the previous card, I decided to use it on another card. I cut it out using a scallop a rectangle die from Honeybee Stamps. For the background, I have some tone-on-tone -tone paper that has some word script all over the back. Just layer those two pieces together. And I did use some liquid adhesive along the outside edge of that scallop square just to make sure it lays flat. I'm bringing in one of Love From Lizzie's peel offs. This is the pinstripe style in the silver mirror. Just put one of them across the background. And then I'll add one of the sentiment cut aparts to my sweetest friend. I'll put some ATG tape on the back and add this panel onto some black cardstock. I noticed the bottom matted layer was a little thicker than the other layers, so I did go and trim that off. And I've had some people ask, why do I adhere my card upside down? I do this when I'm adhering my card front to my card base. I like to start with the edge that's closest to the fold of the card. That way, if I have a little extra room on the other end, I can easily trim it off. And since I'm recording, I don't wanna lean all the way over to try to line it up. So I find it easier to just flip the card upside down so that folded side is closest to me. Now moving on to card design number five. I have a card sketch from Sketch Saturday. This is number 666 using some more beautiful floral paper for the background. I'm layering everything on dark blue cardstock. I have a small scallop border. This is from Pretty Pink Posh. Added that to the bottom of this tone-on-tone -tone gray pattern paper. I'm also putting two strips of the silver mirror peel-offs. So on this sketch, it has that little stitched zigzag line. I'm not gonna be doing that, so instead I'm using the little peel-offs. I'll wrap the ends behind the back, add some ATG, and then adhere it to that floral panel. I wanted to use a sketch where I wasn't gonna cover up a lot of that beautiful background paper. And this pattern paper sheet was really hard to choose the side since the back of it is gorgeous and all that blue and white. But I did decide to go with a little more colorful pattern this time. After I adhere my card front to my card base, I'll add this little banner arrow panel using some polka dot paper and you can't really see it in the video but i used a ruler and marked the little spot so i could cut out that little point on the right side so put some liquid adhesive on the back and adhere it to the card so i am following this sketch fairly closely i just don't have that stitch detail or the little bow for the sentiment, I've already stamped this out. This is from Honey Bee Stamps, my favorite flower stamp set. If friends were flowers, I'd pick you. And I use some Catherine Pooler ink for that. For a final finishing touch, I'm adding a few of the blue gem stickers. I have two in the upper right hand corner and one below the sentiment off to the left. So there's my finished card. And again, I did make two using this sketch. Now moving on to card design number six. This card is definitely my favorite and it also took me the longest to make. I'm using Honeybee Stamps Paint and Palette Honey Cut Set. So I have the little paint palette, cut it out from some craft cardstock, and I'm adding just a little bit of ink to the edges. So I use Catherine Pooler's Icing on the Cake ink. 
For the background of the card, I'm using this beautiful pattern paper that has a watercolor look. It goes from pink to orange to a lighter orangish yellow color. So pretty. I layered it on some pink cardstock that has a pearlescent finish. When I was laying it down, I realized there was a little bump in there. Somehow I ended up with a tiny scrap of paper, so I did peel that apart so I could remove that. This die set has lots of little pieces so you can assemble your paint, your paintbrush, and your little paint palette. So I've already cut out all of the pieces and I have them in my little pink tray. And this is from Make It By Marco. It's the cover, I think it's the cover for their chamois case. I will add a link in the description box if you are interested. I love using it for bling or small die cut pieces. So I'm starting with the tube of paint. I cut it out from some silver mirror cardstock, but that cardstock is fairly thin, so I also cut out another piece from some white cardstock and just glued the two together. Next, I'm working on the paintbrush, and I have two different styles. I have some dark brown cardstock for the main handle. I use some like a dark gray cardstock for the bristles, and then some gold mirror cardstock for the little metal piece that goes between the bristles and the handle. For the paint palette, I have an assortment of pink to orange cardstock colors. And I love that the die set has different shapes for all those little paint swatches, I'm not sure what they're called, not a painter at all. I'm also using the color buzzword so I'll have the word and also the coordinating stamp set. Another fun addition to the die set is the little die cut that looks like the paint is being a squirt out of the bottle. I think that's really fun. So I'm trying to make sure to line up that tube of paint with that little splotch of paint coming out. I'll adhere the word color, trying to leave enough room for the sentiment that I'll be stamping around it. Next, I'll add the two paintbrushes. One of them will be dipped into the paint and the other is just gonna be on top of it. Now I'll bring in my Mini Misty and stamp the rest of the sentiment. So I've already put everything into my Mini Misty. The whole sentiment will be, you color my world. And I'm using some dark chocolate ink from scrapbook.com. The Mini Misty is so helpful since I needed to ink up that sentiment several times. I thought it'd be fun to add a little bit of glitter to all those little paint splotches on the palette. So I have a glitter brush from scrapbook.com and this is just a clear glitter. I'm also adding it to the word color. So this card's gonna be very nice and sparkly. And then to make that paint look a little more realistic, I'm adding glossy accents. So once that dries, it'll have that beautiful, shiny look to it. And since I used some of the glitter brush underneath, it'll also have that glittery finish as well. Then one final finishing touch, I decided to add a few of the gem stickers. I'll be using just the lightest pink color. Put two in the upper left-hand corner and one to the left of the paintbrushes. And there is my finished card. I love how this one turned out. The colors are so pretty and that die set is so much fun to use. Now moving on to card design number seven, and this is my final card design. I have this lovely green ombre pattern paper for the background. I used Honeybee Stamps quilted cover plate die to add that fun stitch detail. Be layering this on some dark green cardstock, putting my card front onto a card base. Then I'll be using another fun new die from Honeybee Stamps. This is their lovely layers cone flower die. This is so much fun. So for the flower, there's four different dies for all of the petals. And I decided to use four different shades of yellow for my card. And it's hard to see in the video, but the petals have this lovely detail on it. So it's not just solid. It gives it more of a realistic look. For the center of the flower, there's two different dies. I used a lighter orange for the background and then this rust orange color for the outside piece. And it also has that lovely detail on it. Now I decided not to put glue on all of the petals, so I'll be able to pop them up. You could curl them up. You could add some foam dimension as well. There's also two leaves that are included in the die set and they also have that fun detail on them. 
and I used some more of the pattern paper for the leaves. I adhered the leaves down first, then I'll attach the flower in the center of the card. I'll be using another sentiment cut apart. I can't thank you enough. And I did pop this up with some foam tape. For a final finishing touch, I'm adding a couple small banners in the upper left-hand corner. Just use two different shades of green cardstock. The lighter green banner is slightly shorter than that darker green, and I'm also offsetting it slightly. I did add a small scrap piece of cardstock to the right of that dark green banner before adhering the second banner down. Then I'll also add just a few of the gem stickers. I'll put two in the upper left hand corner and three in the lower right hand corner around that sentiment. And there is my finished card. I did make two using that green pattern paper as the background. And I also did two with this orange paper that also has that really pretty ombre look. I just used some different cardstock colors for the flower. The flower dies are so pretty. I didn't think the card needed anything else. Now here's a quick recap of the 14 cards I made using Honeybee Stamps Summer Stems 6x6 paper pad. This collection is so pretty with all the lovely florals and fun summery colors. I did keep some of the cards on the simpler side since I'll be donating those to a local charity. I don't want them to have to pay any extra postage to mail them. The paint palette card is still my favorite, but do let me know which card is your favorite. I do have links provided in the description box if you are interested in this paper collection or any of the other products I use in this video. I always enjoy using Honeybee Stamps products. The quality is amazing and they're almost local to me since they're just down in Oregon and I'm in Western Washington. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day.